Hey guys, it's your girl Zoe Melindy. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, what's up? Today I decided to do a video about how to gain your confidence back, honey, and stop comparing yourself to other people. Before we get to the video, please do like, comment down below, and subscribe. Like, do the shandies, guys. You know, you know what to do. And also don't forget to hit that notification bell to become one of the Zagang family. Let's get straight to it. I decided to do a video today um, about how to gain back your confidence and stop comparing yourself. And I did this video because I'm pretty sure um, literally everyone has been through a situation, especially during this lockdown, where you feel like you're not enough, you feel like you are not doing enough, you feel like you don't know yourself anymore, like you've lost your identity, you're not the same person as you were, you know, you feel like you're not getting enough credit or you're not where you want to be. In life as much as you're putting all the hard work you're not seeing any progress and you just start comparing yourself to other people so this video is for you honey first things first you are unique you are you no one else can do you like you do you so you have to trust yourself don't fit in don't do things in a certain way that the other person does just to get attraction be you be completely you no matter how many insecurities you have be you because you don't know how people see you what you see in yourself the negative side of it people might just see perfection the negative side of yourself that you see someone else might not see and even if they do see it i mean just deal with it and go on with life because life goes on if you can't change it, then embrace it. You lose yourself when you start comparing yourself to other people. Especially on social media, this happens a lot. Where you see the influencers, you see the YouTubers doing very well. And you're like, I feel like I'm not doing as much as I should. Or I'm not progressing as much as I put in the hard work why is this happening like should i just quit is this not for me i guess girl don't do that do not do that trust the process focus on yourself because the more you compare yourself to other people the more you lose yourself you need to trust the process you need to trust yourself you need to start focusing on yourself and how to improve the things that you do not like and just believe in god and pray that's it because the all i mean you know what pain life isn't glitz and glam what you see might not be what it seems to be because we choose what we want to put out on social media therefore we do not put out our struggles so be careful of what you wish for because eventually you'll have to deal with the consequences of it you'll have to deal with the negative side of it as well be someone who's well known who's got everything everyone likes her she's just perfect you're gonna have to deal with the consequences of what you're wishing for because that person experiences trials and tribulations as well and those struggles those challenges that she experiences or he experiences might be 10 times more than what you're experiencing so you have to be careful of what you wish for start embracing your life start falling in love with the process because that's what's important to fall in love with the process because eventually you will succeed and what's very important and to take note of is when you do succeed people will know how hard it took for you to get to where you are now people will know just how hard you put in the hard work you were consistent when you had no likes no subscribers no fans no followers 
but you still remained true to yourself you still remained loyal to yourself people will know that this girl worked hard for what she has and she deserves what's important is to know that the energy you put out is what you get back so if you're gonna sulk if you're gonna complain that's what you're gonna get back you're not gonna get anything positive from that you need to start getting up own it start embracing your life start working hard be productive and just trust the process and also pray because that's important the other thing is you block your blessings by desiring what the other person has you blocking your own blessings because everyone has blessings everyone has a purpose in life everyone has been given plans by god but you are blocking your blessings by not taking note of that you know being aware that I have my own blessings I have a purpose in life and even though it might not seem even though you might not see it now it eventually will happen okay so stop desiring or wishing for things that other people have because you are blocking your own blessings got it I <laughs> If you feel like you're in a space in your life where you're doing everything, for instance, I have a YouTube channel and I feel like I'm not doing enough, I feel like I'm not getting enough followers or subscribers and I feel like I'm putting in all the work, you know, but uh, I'm not seeing anything in return. As I said before, and I might repeat the same thing, but I'm just trying to make it clear, God is preparing you for your success, but you have to be patient. He wants you to continue putting in the hard work. He wants you to be consistent. He wants you to fall in love with what you're doing. Fall in love with what you're doing. And God will sustain your life. God will provide all the miracles, all the blessings, all the success, all the prosperity that you want. But you just have to be patient. And patience is a very important factor um, in order to become successful. So... I'm impatient, but when it comes to patience, being patient until you reach what you, where you want to reach in life or what you want to achieve in life, it has to happen. You have to be patient. God knows why things are going slow for you. You have to know that. He knows when you cry. He knows when you're depressed. He knows all of these things, but he wants you to pray. He wants you to talk to him. He's not going to do anything if you don't ask for help. And also, he knows where you're struggling right now. He wants you to stand amongst other people or amongst others successfully, knowing that you've worked hard for every single thing that you have achieved. He wants you to be this well known person who is successful, knowing very well that you worked very hard for where you are now and that you remained very determined. You remained very ambitious. You remained very hardworking and consistent when it was tough. It will happen, but it has to happen in his right timing. And he's never late, nor is he ever early. So you have to know that. Don't give up. Do not give up. You will be an inspiration. You will be a role model. You will make it in life. You will get that house, you will get that car, you will get that money, you will get whatever you have been praying for, you will get those friends, you will get every single thing that you have been praying for. To take full ownership of your life, you have to start praying to God and you have to start having faith. If you want all of those things, you're going to have to have faith because you can't expect God to provide things for you whereas you don't even believe that he will. Manifest them, believe in them, put in the hard work and just wait for them. That's it. Be happy that you're going to receive all these blessings. Be happy that you're going to receive that car, that house. Be happy that you're confident even if you're not. You have to start acting like it. If you want to be seen in a certain way, if you want to feel a certain way, you have to start acting like it even if you don't feel like it. Start acting like it. Stop believing it. If you have a desire to have a car or 
an apartment or reach a certain place in your life then start acting like it like you have a car like you have a house start being confident and start believing in what you want the other thing is if you quit now you're never gonna get it done so you might as well just continue even if it's hard start that youtube channel that you want to start whether you have the camera where you whether you don't have the camera whether you don't have the ring light whether you don't have the tripod girl start that youtube channel stack up those books get your phone out wipe that camera and make it happen the rest will be history if you want those distinctions get it started start working on what you want to achieve that's it that's it to not let people give you a time frame because someone has achieved something within such a short period of time doesn't mean you should give yourself a time frame of how you are supposed to achieve certain things in your life let it flow honey life goes on it is what it is you're gonna get it what's meant for you will eventually become reality it will come to you yeah doubts fear low self-esteem comparison will hold you back you have to know this doubts fear comparison will hold you back so you have to get rid of those things start radiating positive energy you know start acting positive start being positive start being surrounded by, by positivity you know and then everything will just go well for you if you only practice positivity be optimistic in whatever you do even if you're experiencing challenges be optimistic it's gonna be okay it is gonna be okay because no pain lasts forever no struggle lasts forever no goal lasts forever so you need to start being positive um i think this is I think this is the last point that I have. Just because other people are making it in life, that doesn't take away anything from you. It doesn't take anything away from your success. It doesn't take anything away from your plans. It doesn't take anything away from your achievements and your desires and your prayers. So be happy for people and stop comparing yourself if you see someone happy don't say oh okay i'm somewhere happy now oh someone has a car just be happy for them and know at the back of your mind that your time will come but at the moment practice to be happy for other people genuinely because what you put out is what you get if you're going to be this fake person that always wants or that's always competitive then you're not going to get anything positive out of that so things will get better own up boss up take full ownership of your life pray put in the hard work be positive and everything will be okay things will change for the better own up take ownership of your life take responsibility full responsibility of your life jot down your insecurities and if it's something that you cannot change embrace it put in the hard work get it started be consistent believe in yourself manifest it and believe that it's going to happen while practicing positivity then everything will change in your life for the whatever i said i hope it was helpful in any way and i hope you do get better i hope you get that mojo back and you stop being confident and you start being inspiring i hope you succeed in life 
I hope you become a genuine person that's truly happy for people. I hope you manifest whatever you want in your life and eventually becomes reality. Thank you.